when you look back at uh, the season last year, what are some things that kind of stick out both as a team and individual wise? What are your impressions overall of last season? <clears throat> well, last season things didn't go the way we wanted to go, but uh, overall I, I feel that uh, we came more together as one, uh, one common goal, and um, that's what's standing out even for us right now because uh, more guys are staying here, and it's, I feel that uh, everybody is focused and wanting to get that one uh, goal that we're after, and that's to be conference champs and make it in the playoffs. How do you evaluate your season individually last year, some things that you did well and things that you needed to improve on? <clears throat> well, uh, my knowledge of the game, uh, my first year here, I really didn't know much. I was just out there just trying to pop a talent. But at this upper level from high school, you need to know the game and uh, get a better understanding, I would say. So, uh, so as far as last year, my achievement, it was uh, because of my knowledge of the game and trying to learn my opponent. And um, I give credit to the, the O and the Q for giving me the ball. Tell me a little bit about your summer training schedule. What kinds of things are you doing um, to get better? Uh, this year I'm hard in the weight room. I haven't really watched much film yet, but that's going to come. But I really want to focus on getting a lot stronger and put weight on, which I've been trying to put that on hard for the longest. But uh, working out, and now I feel like I'm starting to work out twice a day now to try and get that extra kick um, and build up more endurance in me. And, um, be good. You talked about it a little bit, but tell me about the collective commitment of the team. A lot of guys being here this summer. What's kind of the feeling, um, you know, as you're working out with guys here uh, in Fairmont? Uh, well, I can tell that they're they have a different attitude approaching this season uh, because, for the simple fact, we got people to stay this year. Last year we talked about it, and no one really stayed. But this year we talked about it, and guys actually stayed, and we also have guys that are coming back, came back early this July, so uh, I think that's a big key into this year. Uh, Coach Lopez has kind of tabbed you as a natural leader. How do you approach that role? Um, just by trying to be a leader on and off the field, by showing the team that I'm working, and by me, by my performance last year, that kind of helped me out a lot, made it easy on me because for some of that I worked out and I study film and it paid off. And other guys see that too, so I, I feel like that helped me out and to get them to want to do the same. Having the success that you did last year, how, uh, you know, you guys are going to see, you're, you yourself are going to see a little bit more attention from defenses. So how are you, uh, uh, what are you going to need to do to step up? Uh, um, after my workout, I do my, uh, drills that Coach B have us do. I've been practicing on my release a lot um, and recognizing coverage as well. I feel like I'll be double team, sometimes a triple team, which I've seen one time. So uh, I really focus on that being double team, like how to read it and how to get out and get open. So I work on my release and I work on my moves a lot now. Since after I work out, I go in the gym, out on the field, just do drills that Coach B have us do to get better at those because it will help a lot. The offense is changing a little bit, um, uh, not quite so much spread. How has that? How is that going to change and, and maybe not only help you, but maybe help some of the other weapons that you guys do have on offense? Well, uh, by that happening, uh, I feel that if I'm getting a lot of attention, that I'll make for other guys to get open because we have weapons out on offense all over the field. So by that happening, then I feel like then they'll have to stop worrying about me so much and then that'll help out the offense as well. So then I can get back involved in the game. Are you comfortable with the different formations or, or is it still now a little bit of a learning curve with some new, maybe some new things coming in? Uh, I, I feel I'll be comfortable with it because I've been here for almost three years now and I feel like just writing it down and looking at it and studying and then the way that they're teaching now is they're walking us out on the field and going over it a couple times to get it in. So I feel like I'd be comfortable with it. You guys were close a little bit last year in some tight games. Um, do you feel like you guys have learned the lessons and will be able to apply that uh, when the chips are down and it's a tough game uh, for 2009? Yes, sir. Um, 
uh, excuses were we were a young team and the past that it was offense was young and defense was young but now and we did great being a young team and um, now that uh, we have been there as a team together and we come closer and I feel that since everybody feel more comfortable with the defense and offense then we'll be we'll be better coming into the next season if we're in a close games to pull them out because we haven't been there. When was the last time you were beaten in a foot race? Uh, <laughs> uh, I have to say when I was in the seventh grade, seventh grade, one of my cousins came back from North Carolina and uh, he told me he'll beat me in the first race we raced, he beat me, but the next two I won, so that's the last time. <laughs>